He was the billionaire prime minister of Thailand. He went on to buy the uh, UK soccer club Manchester City and now he has been convicted of breaking uh, the Thai law in relation to conflicts of interest and worse than that he's been sentenced to two years in prison. It all relates to a controversial land deal involving his wife back in 2003. Today the Supreme Court, uh, a section of the Supreme Court relating to political office holders uh, voted by five votes to four that he had broken the law uh, which bans him from uh, using his political influence as Prime Minister. It sentenced him in absentia to two years uh, in prison. Taxon at the moment is in exile in London and it's highly unlikely he will ever uh, serve that sentence unless he is forced to come back. We don't know yet whether the Thai authorities uh, will seek his extradition uh, from London, but he's already come out and told reporters that this was a politically motivated trial that he never expected uh, to, uh, to, to be found not guilty. He didn't expect it to go uh, any other way. It, it, it's a blow for him, but it could have been a lot worse. He was facing uh, potentially a total of 23 years uh, in prison, but in the end he was only found guilty on one of the charges and was given uh, two years. It won't do anything, though, to diffuse the political tensions here in Thailand. His brother-in-law is the Prime Minister at the moment, Som Chai Wongsawat. He is embattled, as is the rest of the government, with thousands of anti-government protesters still holding out in the middle of Government House, refusing uh, to leave. There is a real deadlock at the centre uh, of Thai politics with the supporters of Taksin uh, on one side and his bitter enemies and the, the Thai political establishment on the other side. And there is nothing out of this verdict which will do anything to try uh, and lessen those tensions and diffuse the current political crisis that grips Thailand. Dan Rivers, CNN, Bangkok.